Hello and welcome to that has United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm here to give you all the latest news concerning Manchester United as we're also going to talk about what I expect to happen this new week. We are coming into, we have the preseason tour, we have, we have some updates concerning Lugate this week, Mark Tomine is going to leave this week and many other things we have to discuss about that we expect to happen in the coming week. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe to this channel, follow the page and let's get straight into everything. And starting with Scott McTominay, as he has been tipped to leave Manchester United with clubs like Fulham, Galatasaray, and other clubs interested in him, is McTominay going to leave United? We are definitely going to find out this week. As Ten Hag had a lot to say about him, Ten Hag said he is not for sale. That we want to keep him because he's a very important player for our group. We saw what he can bring, what he can bring last like season. That is what Ten Hag had to say about McTominay. We want to keep him part of the group. He's important. He scored ten goals last season. That shows how important he is to the group. But is Ten Hag playing? <laughs> is it just Joe? Is he lying? Of course, we know that we know how Ten Hag can lie. We know that if you can say McTominay and bring in someone better than him, I'm very sure Ten Hag will be all for that. And according to Fabrizio Romano, if we want to get Manuel Gatte in, we have to sell someone. And he said we're either going to sell McTominay or Casemiro. Any deals for Casemiro now is currently on hold. There is no ongoing deal for Casemiro, but there's all there are interests. In um, Scott McTominay, we got a test arrive for him with the bid, which was rejected. So, McTominay is the midfielder that it looks like he's going to leave. He's, it looks like he's making a decision on his future, and he might decide that in the coming weeks because we have to sell players to buy any other player, especially for Manuel Gatti. And also, Amrabat, the, um, Fabrizio Mano said that United have informed Florentina that they will not trigger the 20 million buyback clause. Buy clause in so from Amrabat's loan deal, the interest is still there, but they'll discuss new terms. My United still don't know what to do with, with Amrabat yet, but even if we want to get him, we don't want to follow the old agreement with Richard Arnold and um, and John Mota that Florentina made with them. The new regime wants to discuss fresh terms with Florentina, with Florentina because they're not willing to, willing to pay 20 million euros for Amrabat. So if we are going to even sign Amrabat, people has to go too. Ugati has told PSG that he doesn't want to go anywhere else. United is his priority. He has a great personal terms with us, with us, so he wants to come to United. So, Mark Tomine or Casemiro has to leave, or even both has to leave for us to get maybe Amrabat and Ugati in. That is what we we'll look at to happen this week. We'll get more details on those three deals, Amrabat, uh, Ugati, and Mark Tomine this week. Stay tuned because we're going to get, maybe we're going to get a year we go from, for Ugati this week. You can never tell. Also, McTominay could leave this week. We are going to present on Wednesday. Something might happen. Um, definitely, ha something definitely has to happen before Wednesday as regards the future of McTominay, Ugati, or maybe Amrabat. Let's see what happens within uh, with those three deals. Anyway, before we talk about Anthony, Delit, and Brightway, let's talk about yesterday's preseason game because Neniro and Ahmad had very good performances yesterday. Although they played for five minutes, uh, we had a very very good massive goal from from Ahmad. Ahmad, new contract discussions are going to happen with Ahmad in the coming months. Definitely, Ten the, the Hag said this year is going to be Ahmad's year. Let's see how you can, how, let's see what he can do. Last season, he was very patient. He didn't complain. He, he sat on the bench a lot. Didn't complain. Towards the end of last season, he got some game time. He proved himself. Now, in preseason, he's going straight, ri straight right in for that position. He wants to lock down that right wing position. Let's see what, if, he can do, if he can do that. Let's see if he starts the first game. Let's see if he starts the community shield against Man City. And if I also start the first game against um, Fulham on the 16th of August, can never tell. But Ahmad is firing it up. The New Yogo, beautiful 45 minutes performance, strong on the ball, um, has a very good passing range on him. Um, you know, still gelling with the team. Onana didn't do too bad. Our youth players were okay. Sancho was decent. Uh, Mount also looking sharp with a very good assist. Um, would expect um, Ericsson and Hoyland. To come back to the training this week, probably tomorrow. I would expect Holland and everything to be back. And our preseason tour is on Wednesday. We'll travel to the US on Wednesday, and everything moves on for that. So let's see what happens with the preseason tour. Let's go straight back into transfer news because Anthony's agent came out today to say that um, on the rumors of his exit, he said, "I see reports about potential exits on loan. Anthony's plan is clear. My United, he wants to stay. He's only focused on United." We already spoke about that with the club. And also Ten Hag says that he has seen 
when Anthony first came, he got three goals in three games. Yes, Anthony can have the potential to be a very good player for us. And hopefully this season he can get into that mindset. We know that when he first came, there was a huge buzz. He did very well in the first three games, scored against Man City, Arsenal, and I think Chelsea or Liverpool. So he scored against big clubs, right? And then he all went to shit that season. Then the second season, which was last season, he had some accusations laid against him. He was arrested and blah, blah, blah. And it all, the season was bad, basically, right? And then he came back and he's picking up the pieces. He only scored one goal last season and now it's a new season. Let's see if Anthony can pick up the pieces of his career at United. Because if not, right here, right now, he's a flop. If he doesn't pick up, if he doesn't do well this season, then we can, we can, officially, declare him, we can officially declare him as a flop and look at selling him um next season, next summer or loaning, or loaning him out uh, next summer. And for Casemiro, according to Manchester United News, he says United are willing to are willing to sell Casemiro if the right, right offer comes in. There has been tentative interest, but no official bids as of yet. Like I said before, the interest in Casemiro right now is is cooled down. We uh, would expect some bids coming towards the ending of the summer transfer window. Let's let's just see what happens with Casemiro for August. August will be Casemiro's time to leave Manchester United, Manchester United if he even leaves at all. And then for Brightweight. According to David Johnson, he says that Everton has informed United that they have no intention of selling Brightway this summer and the Everton ownership related struggles don't affect their stance and the valuation of Brightway. They remain, uh, United remain, United retain an interest, but future approaches are deemed not welcomed. <laughs> wow. That means Everton has said, we don't want to sell, stay away from us. We don't want to negotiate for him. He's not for sale. Bye. Bye. And very good. We'll get the leads because the hack says that, um, I wanted to sign Delete two years ago. At that time, he was already far along to join Bayern Munich. But believe it or not, his name did not come from me in the process of targeting signings. So this season, with the new ownership, with the new regime, his name, Delete's name was suggested to was suggested to Ten Hag. That's what he's saying. I, he didn't suggest the player. They suggested the player to him. And of course, he knows the player. Why won't he want the player? And he also says that um, it remains to be seen whether Delete will come. I know the matters very well and I will not deny that. So... He is saying that they they suggested the lead to me. I would love him to come to United and let's see if that will happen. We have signed Euro. We need to sell players. Lindelof most likely will have to leave. Maguire maybe will leave also before we can get the lead in. He sell to buy basically. He sell to buy. So if the lead if the lead um if um, <coughs> Lindelof leaves, then we will look at signing the lead in the coming week. The lead just have a patient. Just have a patience. Bayern wants to sell him. We want to buy him, but we need to clear out some players to be able to afford him. Definitely, he is patient and he knows they have very well. So, I'm sure he wouldn't mind having some more patience and we'll come for him later in the summer transfer window because we can't sign just one center back. Impossible. We need at least, we need even three. If, I, if we can sign three center back, we'll we sign three, but we need two at least to be very okay. And let's see what happens in the coming weeks. I don't expect anything special to happen concerning the lead this week, but maybe we'll get some outgoings concerning Lindelof. Or Misaka too. If Misaka leaves, we'll get the new right back. If and also we'll look at sending a new left back this summer. So we have a lot, lot of things to do in the midfield and the probably the wing. Maybe, maybe we are bringing to Zavi Simmons. Leonard are interested in signings and Zavi Simmons, according to the report, that might be false. But let's see what comes out this week. And also one interesting news concerning a 16-year-old striker. His name is um, Chido Obi Martins. He says, "My United, is, my United want to sign Chido Obi Martins, 16 years old, after he has agreed, he has decided to leave Arsenal. Um, he rejected the, the terms Arsenal gave him for renewal. He doesn't want to stay at Arsenal. He went. He visited Carrington last week Tuesday. He also visited other clubs in the UK and in Germany, and he will make his decision in the coming days, according to Fabrizio Romano." So we'd expect to hear what Chido Obi Martins wants to do. This is a sign we'll get more and more often signing talented young players to come into our academy and then progress to our first team. Hopefully, if they are good enough. And this is what Jason Wilcox and Dan Ashworth will look at doing. This is their specialty. Even um, Christopher Vivel. Christopher Vivel will look at is the wider European market, right? He any player will probably sign from um, the German league, from the Brazilian league, from the French league, probably will be connected to Christopher Vivel. But in England, Jason Wilcox and Dan Ashworth are, are the people that you expect to do to be able to, to drive those kind of deal because that is their specialty. 
in those things. Also, in some outgoings, maybe we would expect Cass uh, an update concerning Ericsson. I don't think Ericsson is going to start this club. Ericsson will probably leave. But this week, don't expect too much concerning incomings. Ugate is the only on ongoing deal concerning incomings. But before we conclude that, like I said, what's the future of Scott McTominay, um, Ericsson, Casemiro? Um, the deal for Brighton is off. The lead has to wait. Lindelof also probably will leave. Maybe this week could be the week that will conclude those deals for uh, Victor Lindelof. Let's see what happens with everything. This is what I'm, I bring to you this evening. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one. It's going to be a big week. Precision tour. You no, know, I'm facing the USA, playing against three big teams. And let's see how everything progresses with the players that are coming back this week. And let's see what we can do going forward. Stay tuned.